Hey everybody, what's cracking? Merlin here. I just wanted to make a quick video on um, which ways to step fucking run. Um, because then if you can see what moves your opponent's pressing, um, then you'll know sort of how to counter it. And if, you know, you don't even know, maybe they're using moves that are all linear to one side, and you can just sidewalk them all by going the same way. So, um, let's just crack straight into it. Um, okay, so, the first bunch of moves I'm going to say, these moves are all steppable to both ways. So, his first raise drive, as you can see, very linear. If you ever do that in the open, or the enemy's trying to do it in the open, Super linear. Um, he's three. So I've mentioned before, this is a really good string and all its extensions are really good. But if you miss the first hit, uh, none of that's going to happen. So yeah, very linear. Make sure you like change your timing a bit with it. Um, otherwise, yeah, it can be easily stepped. Very, very linear. Uh, he's forward 12 as well. Obviously, if you're going to um, more splat them, you want to time it properly. Sorry, wall bounce. You want to time it properly. Otherwise, yeah, they could just easily step out of it. By the way, these moves that I'm saying now, obviously, because they're steppable both ways, that means they're like the most linear moves in the game. Like any sort of movement you do will get out of it. Um, he's forward three plus four, which is his armor move. Sorry. Very linear. Down two. So this move's really good. It's high crush to get into full crouch mix up, but is very linear as well. Um, down three plus four as well. The parry. Obviously, you probably wouldn't use this unless you have a hard read, but just so you know, it's super linear. He's back one. Super good range. Great with punisher, but very linear. Up forward one. Up forward three. And up forward four. All super linear. And he's obviously he's forward forward three since that has insane range. Super linear as well. So use those moves sparingly and only if the opponent shows he's not sidewalking or stepping. So, um, so very important thing to note. The only moves that he's got that I could really check um, and see for myself was the only two moves that are steppable to only one way. They're very important moves and they're great tools. So this is what's going to stop people from stepping the way he's weak to, which is the right. So a lot of his moves can be walked and stepped to the right. Um, so using these two moves specifically is going to stop people from doing that. So um, yeah, set on side step right. So he's down forward one. Obviously one of the biggest moves ever. If they try to side step right, it will catch him. You have to step to the left. But, um, if they are trying to step right to avoid all your moves, a very, very good and important move tracks that way, which is his 3 plus 4. So, if anyone's trying to step you, they think you're going to do a down forward 1 or whatever, uh, whatever, like move that is um, susceptible to sidewalk right, if they think you're going to do that, all you do is wait for that, and if they try to just do it on autopilot, your 3 plus 4 will hit them, so... Okay, so the next moves I've got, they can actually be, they have to be sidewalked. Uh, they cannot be sidestepped either way or else you will get caught. Um, like I'll give you an example. He's down one, actually tracks somewhat to the right, but you can actually sidewalk it right. So there you go. Um, yeah, so all these moves, they have to be sidewalked, but they can be sidewalked either way as well. So, um, so down one. Then we got down back four, so massive low, but very, well not very linear, but it is linear. So it can be sidewalk, so you don't have to be really scared of that for a low pressure. Um, he's down four with three as well. So there's two lows that already don't track um, too well. He's down back two, two, which no one really uses, but yep, can be sidewalked both ways. Okay, so he's back two. Obviously got a lot of extensions, so sidewalking will cover literally everything except for one option. So if they just um, do the second hit without even timing it, you can st uh, walk it to the left, but I'm pretty sure it catches you to the right. Yep. So that one, you have to, um, like, I guess, see what they do. 
Uh, that being said, you can step the other direction, uh, the other mix-ups. Back two, three, and even if it's charged, I'm pretty uh, delayed. Sorry. Yep, you can sidestep that, and I think the charge mid as well. Yeah. So it avoids everything. Sidewalking left can avoid everything there. If you are sidewalking right, just be aware of the second high. Um, forward three, two, one. So this string literally can sidewalk every option. Even the tracking move, I'm pretty sure whips. Yeah. So if they're tr if they're finishing that string on you, um, just sidewalk the whole thing. Um. So he's forward, forward 12. Obviously, we know insane range. But yeah, it is actually quite linear. So obviously, like, try to use it as a whiff punisher. Don't really use it, like, if they are stepping. Uh, he's while running three as well. Can be sidewalked. Incredible move, incredible range. Great uh, frames on block. But yeah, is a bit linear. And he's while standing two. So basically, if people are trying to do this to you, Going to a full crouch mix-up. You don't have to let them. And you can just sidestep that. Um, and basically punish them for it. So, Okay. So these next couple of moves. They have to be sidewalk to the left. Specifically to the left. So he's got, I've got him sidewalking right now. If I do this. The second hit will catch a forward 2-1. So that one, you have to sidewalk to the left. All right, that shouldn't have caught. Yeah, should be fine that one. Um, while standing three as well. So a lot of people like to do the full crouch mix up with him. They do that one and they do this one. Um, you can sidewalk the while standing three. Um, it might be a bit tricky at times. Like if they do a move that's more negative and go into it, it might realign just like that. So this one's pretty dangerous, but it is possible. Um, and obviously this one's not rocket science. He's side step four. If you step away from him, it's going to dodge. If you go towards him, it's going to get you. So um, yeah, so they're the sidewalk left options. Now these I reckon are the most important factors um, I want to talk about with his kit. And that's the moves that are susceptible to sidewalking right. So these are probably, in my opinion, his main tools. Um, aside from down forward one and three plus four that I said before, these are literally all the tools that most fucking rams will use. So he's one one. He's one two, which is a huge one. One four. Um, basically, anything that starts with one, you want to be sidewalking to the right. 1-2 is huge because he has insane amount of mix-ups from here. So, he's got that. Um, he's got... Oops. He's got... That. That. And literally all of these can be avoided if you just sidewalk the first two jabs. And then either punish him or interrupt. Or maybe keep sidewalking. The only one that will catch you is the one, one, two, one, four, which is pretty dangerous. So be careful and just see if they're mixing it up. Um, yeah, is a lot of his pressure comes from his jabs. So make sure you're sidewalking right for that one. He's two, four, same sort of thing. Uh, sidewalk to the right, four, three, same thing again. Um, even the lows, you, you can sidewalk that one to the right. He's down forward 2-3, he's launcher. So obviously one of the most popular moves by him. A lot of people will be doing this. You sidewalk it to the right. So yeah. Um, down forward 4-3 as well. Uh, this move I use at heaps to wall splat at the wall. So make sure you sidewalk in that one if he does it in the open. Or yeah, like if you can sidewalk it to the right. And... The two knees, oh sorry, um, just to do with that one as well, the spike gets covered as well. So down forward four, three, two to three, you can also sidewalk that one. Um, he's back four, three, so this is a really, really good string. Um, sidewalk it to the right for sure, because yeah, that's a natural and it's even got the extension. Um, so yeah, if you sidewalk it to the right, that'll avoid all of it. 
Um, I think that covers everything. Oh yeah, so with his launcher, obviously you know this one, it even covers the mid option as well. So yeah, basically most of his tools there will be the ones that people are using very often. Um, and yeah, you only have to really worry about stepping to the left if they use this and that one. So if you're using fucking rum, 100% use those because that means the opponent can't just um, easily sidewalk you to your weak side. I have to actually think about it and see what you're doing. Okay, so the last bunch of moves I want to talk about is his... These moves basically cannot be stepped. They're pretty much homing moves. So I'm obviously not going to include his actual homing moves, but these moves are pretty much close to homing. So his low raise drive. I think at some certain angles, maybe out of this one, you can step it. I think maybe at some angles you can step it to the left, but I mean sidewalk to the left, but I would not advise that at all. Pretty much he's homing. Um, so yeah, if you think the opponent's gonna do this one, make sure you side uh, you just block it. Just react and block to it. React to it and block it, sorry. Um, there's no point trying to sidewalk it because yeah, basically homing. Um So you know how earlier I was mentioning you step his down forward one to the left. If you finish the string with down forward one two, the second hit will catch. So obviously the full catch, the full string will catch if you're side walking to the right as well. So um, that one can't be stepped. Same with down forward one two one. That one will catch you whatever way you're going. Um, if the whole thing comes out. So a huge, huge important one here is Hell Sweep. So this one cannot be stepped at all. Um, I've never seen anyone step it, and I've never stepped it myself. So if they're literally doing Hell Sweep after Hell Sweep, you literally have to block it. One thing I will add though is the mix up for this is the mid, and that one. Oh what? See there you go. It just sidewalk there. Um, but yeah, the mid can actually sidewalk that one. So if you get up and start sidewalking, um, you can actually step it. Pretty sure you can sidewalk it both ways as well. So, all right, so you have to be pretty much in full stride to sidewalk it, but you can sidewalk it. All right, so left it looks like. Alright, so yeah, you'd want to sidewalk left against that one. Um, but yeah, this is a very integral part of his kit. The hell sweep and the overhead. So yeah, you got to look out for that one. And if they're literally spamming it, you have to you have to block it. Um, or sidewalk left if you think the mid's coming for a big reward. Or just block it. Because it's only it's zero on block. So um, Very tricky and very dangerous one there. But basically that's all you can do. So yeah, as I said yesterday... Uh, yesterday. <laughs> earlier... These ones are both sidewalkable, so your down back four and your down forward three. What you want to do to combat that is either use down three or down four. Your down four is literally almost homing. They will not be able to step in time because it's 14 frames. So if they are stepping you, um, basically this is really, really good. Aside from his down forward one and his three plus four, this is better because it tracks both ways. They can actually be stepped the other way, so. Um, I mean, no one's gonna really use this, but I guess it's good to know. He's down back three plus four, he's tracked to both ways. Um, he's forward forward two one as well. Like no one's really gonna use this in neutral that much, but it's good to know. Tracks both ways. Oh, the best move in the game, the jet kick. So that one, people trying to step you, um, just use the jet kick on them. Literally can't get out of it at all, unless you duck, of course. A lot of people will duck when they see this once, because they're scared of it hitting them, um, and they want to dodge it. But um, obviously he's got um, some tracking moves as well. Um, so yeah, if they're trying to step that, if they're stepping and ducking, you can use... Forward, forward, four. So, yeah. 
if they're ducking at range from that, they're afraid of it, you just use this one. Forward, forward, forward. Um, but yeah, the jet kick's very oppressive. Literally can't do anything about it unless you are ducking, and that's pretty risky in this game, so. Uh, last two moves on the list, so he's while standing 1-2. If you're ever going to do a full crouch mix-up, don't worry about them trying to step that, because they can't. Um, obviously, don't finish the full thing unless you see it confirmed, because that can be ducked. But yeah, the first hit initially. Um, obviously, it's a natural combo. They cannot uh, sidewalk that one. And lastly, you know how earlier I was talking about his while standing 2 being steppable? If you finish it with the mid, so while standing 2-4... It will track them. So you catch him there. And of course he has the uh, tracking move from here as well. So. Yeah, that about does it for fucking Ram. Um, if it's a video is too long and you couldn't be bothered watching, just skip to the end. I'll tell you guys now. The best way to uh, avoid his moves is sidewalk to the right. Um, unless they're um, using moves that track both ways, like down four or down three. Um... You should be sidewalking to the right because it will avoid a lot of things like he's 1-2, you know, he's 1-4, he's um, down back 4, uh, down, yeah, down forward 4-3, four, all those attract to the right, um, and he's sidewalk left, sorry, if they are doing that and you're the fucking run player, you would use down forward 1, or he's 3 plus 4, so... Yeah, basically too long didn't read. Sidewalk him to the right. I uh, hope you guys learned something and enjoyed this. Till next time, take it easy guys and peace.